We want to bring the Scottish League title back to Edinburgh, but to do that, first of all, we need to make sure that the capital is maroon, and the way to paint it that colour is to defeat Hibernian in the first Edinburgh derby of the season. Welcome back, guys, to Sir of Scotland 90. This is episode 2 of the FC24 Hearts Career Mode, of course, with the updated 2024 2025 squads. Now we are one game in to the season and we have one point. Not a bad start, especially considering our first game was against Rangers, but now we want to go one even better and pick up a win against Hibernian. We are currently seventh, they are currently fifth, but there's only you know, nothing in it really apart from goal difference. Even goal difference is the same, but they have scored a goal and we haven't so technically they are in front of us by one goal scored but I mean you look at the table right now Aberdeen Drew with Celtic it's very very close obviously Ross County and Livingston are trailing at the bottom with no points and at the top you've got Kilmarnock and Dundee with three points each but we have eight teams all on one point and it's it's very close but here what do you expect there's only been one match day the farthest someone could be ahead is three points anyway now we can get on to four if we beat Hibernian that is going to be the goal that's what we need to try and do Try and keep the pressure on. Now, good news is we are going for the title and obviously we didn't lose any points to the old firm because those are the two teams you expect us to be battling for. You know, if we if we want to win the title, the likelihood is we need to beat one of them. We're not going to come down to a last day title decider and be taking on Dundee. I just don't see that happening. So at least we didn't lose ground on any of them. Now, I have been doing a little bit of scouting, so we can get to the transfer hub. I believe I've got two players in here. Yes, so I've got Max Johnson, someone that I want to bring in because I need another right back. Nathaniel Atkinson is going to be leaving the club soon, hopefully, so I want to bring in a right back. I think Johnson is the guy. And I was recommended Leonardo Morgala to check him out. And I've checked him out. We're scouting him right now. He's currently 18. He can play centre-back and also right back, so this could really work out. And you know, once the scouting is completed with these guys, we'll know more, and then we can go ahead and make our move. But we're not going to bring any new players in for the Hibernian game. It's too soon. In fact, it's coming up right now. So let's do it. Let's go. Two home games to kick off the season, but two tough games, no doubt about it. And yeah, it's press conference time. We we have to do a press conference, Thank surely. You for us. We're going to yeah, Stephen now. A. Smith sits doing. Hopefully, that's the winner's chair. Hopefully, by the end of the game, we're sitting in the winning seat. People are wondering why Forrest is still getting picked from starting 11. Ah, oh, God. Well, I mean, he wasn't great, but, I mean, come on. He wasn't the only one. Um, he needs time to get back to form. Give him time. Stay cool. Stay calm. There's always pressure and excitement around the game against your rivals. Of course there is. Can't wait to play Hibs. I can't wait to smash them. Uh, we'll play the game. We're in excellent shape. We are. Just because we drew with Rangers doesn't mean shit. Many people expect the Hearts to be more active in the transfer window. No signings so far. Will that change before deadline day? I think it is going to change. Uh, I'll sign the players who are right for us. And hopefully after scouting is completed, we will find a few players who are indeed right for us. So there you go. Stephen Naismith then has answered the questions ahead of the game. And he's away off now to hopefully go and give the winning team talk to the players. So media is gathering, morale is very good, we've got some training sessions here that we could do but we're not going to do, the pre-match report, so let's have a look at Hibernian and you can see they are lining up with a 4-4-1-1 with Fenty up top, we've got Wallacott in next, we've got Diara, Ekpita, Fish, Caden, Boyle, Amos, Levitt, Yuan, Marconde is in there as the captain, Marconde is as the captain. I'm not sure he is the captain, but they've, they've selected him as the captain. We can see that they are a 2.5 star team, 68 attack, 70 midfield, 68 defence. So, I mean, they're solid. There's no doubt about it, but are they as solid as us? Let's hope not. So, with that said, guys, we pick our team. As for our lineup, we are going with pretty much the same team, but two changes, and those changes are going to be Tagawa on the left and Danda through the middle. So, Mackay and Forrest are dropping out. I'm not changing Gordon. I'm not changing the defence, but the defence was impressive, uh, especially Limbikiska. So, I mean, yeah, I am happy with that. Of course, Shanklin will remain up front. Oda was pretty good in the right as well, and I thought the midfield, Devlin and Benjami, did a good job. So, yeah, I'm happy with that, guys. Let's go. This great sport yeah, thank you, Asso. Players action. walking out. There's the Hibernian players getting ready. This is war. It's Hawks versus Hibs. And here's hoping that we can get it done. 
There's Gordon there, fist clenched. Looking, hopefully it's clenched by the end of the game. Hell, we might be clenched during the game. We could be getting into a little bit of a brawl, who knows? And Shangland then will get us underway in this match. Hearts going from left to right, Hibernian going from right to left. Big game for both teams. Neither team wants to lose. Both teams want a strong start to the season and certainly losing to your Edinburgh rivals in the second game would not be considered a good start. So vital here for both teams that they get the win on the board, especially considering neither side won in the opening game. So. Yeah, big, big match here, Edinburgh Derby, Just second game of the season. We'll the I haven't started too well, we'll give the ball away though. And we can't afford to be doing that. We need to have one of our better games and, yeah, just needlessly giving possession away to Hibs is not going to help us win this as it's Caden and Boyle down the right-hand side. McCondes now in the middle, Jan Dand, oh, and Shanklin's done well, but then he loses it. So Shanklin did win it, just to lose it back. Oh, now it's out towards Yuan. What can Limba Kisser do? In the first game he was great, can he be great in this game? Let's hope so, he can, he's won the ball, but can he get the rebound? It's going to go out for a corner, so... Yeah, it looks like it followed through, Hibernian got a bit fortunate there, they do win the corner, looks like they're taking it short. And wow, that's poor, what the heck was that? Benenjami steps in to win it, but Oda's tackle was crazy, sliding away recklessly just jumped in and now he's on the attack this is what Oda can do forget about him defensively Oda can just take anybody on with his pace it's Oda and he's just overran that and then got caught what the hell was that I was giving them the, the big build up there it just fell flat did not deliver in the end oh, Martin Boyle what a quick turn that is and I don't think Hulk has got the pace I'm glad Boyle passed it and I'm glad Hibs have messed that up because we looked like we were in trouble there 100% we looked like we we are in trouble. Limbasica then to Shankland. Shankland still with possession. Shankland out to Oda. Oda over the top. It's Limbacasa. He's took it down in his stride. He's picked out Devlin. Devlin now to Benjamin. What have Hart's got here looking for the back post? It's going to be Oda. Or Tagawa. Getting those two mixed up. Accident. I swear. Oh, and the wee back heel flick there just doesn't, doesn't pay off. Alright, Tagawa picks up. Decent pass. Shanklin now. Can he pick out Tagawa who made the run? He can't. Tagawa offside. Shanklin holds on to it though. Shanklin's still going. What can Lauren Shanklin do? We know he can score for anywhere, but I don't think he can score for here. As good as he is. Now it's Devlin. Devlin switches it over. Hearts here still with the ball. Oda. Oda. I don't know where that's going, but Shanklin should win it. He doesn't win it. And again, it's just a Ah, terrible attack. Dull. No cutting edge. Ends in nothing. All over the top. It's Johan. He's got the pace and he's going to use it. And we need to stop him for using it. Oh, and Limbasaka, who was great in the first game, wasn't so great there. Craig Gordon though, makes a good save and he cannot get up in time to stop the rebound. It was a good save initially for Craig Gordon, but Fente was there. And Fente has put Hibernian in front. Very disappointing. We need to be better. We've been really well, poor attacking-wise. And, yeah, the, uh, Johan was just too good for us. Craig Gordon makes a save, but in the end, how good is that save, really, when Fente's there just to bundle at home? And he almost missed. I mean, he hit the under part of the crossbar. So, I mean, that could have could have been a disaster for him. But, yeah, he got the goal. He's obviously celebrating it. He's happy. A goal just for half-time. It's exactly... Probably what this game needed. Obviously, it's not what we want because we're getting beat now and it sucks. But in, in terms of just this game in general, it probably needed a goal because so far there's been pretty much hee-haw created. It's been a shite watch, but hopefully now that can add some life to this match and we need to find the next one you feel. Do you know why I go 2-0 down? It's Shankland. Shankland playing in Kingsley who's not going to get to that. And we're putting pressure on and now we just let him get away from his brilliant absolutely fantastic Caden there just oh my god Caden's went past two men and he's got Boyle in front of him and he's played it to Fente and Hibernian are looking to go 2-0 no up here on the brink of half time and Fente taking it to the corner flag as if he's trying to play it for time here that's dumb but they've got a corner this could be bad news for us ball is in we need to get rid of that we do and it's going to fall for Oda I don't think there's going to be enough time, there's not. Oda trying to run, Oda trying to counter. In the end though, the referee puts a stop to that, he blows his whistle. 
and we have to settle for half time. So we're not down at the break. There's been two shots, both of them for Hibs. We need to do more. We need to create more. Um, I, I'm tempted to actually make some subs, but I'm not going to do it right now. But I mean, if we don't change shit in the second half quickly, then yeah, we're gonna we're gonna make moves here because right now we've been really poor, guys. Something has to give in the second half. And it's Boyle again. This time headway. getting the better of Stephen Kingsley. Martin Boyle, can he get the better of Halkett? No, he can't. Halkett's been good so far in this game. He's been solid defensively. He's made big stops. Now it's Tagawa. Tagawa. Oh, what's he doing? Tagawa with a horrible back pass. And this could be all over here. Can we defend? It's a chance now. And it's 2-0. And it could be game over. What the hell has happened there? Fente has given Hibernian a two-goal lead. But what the hell was that pass from Tagawa? You talk about screwing your own team. That's exactly what he's done. Well, Craig Gordon can't believe it. Nobody can believe it. Tagawa just, just on the counter and he decides to play a pass right back to the Hibernian player. Unreal. Craig Gordon can't make the save. We find ourselves trailing now by a double Fente brace there. 2-0 to Hibernian. 50 minutes gone. 40 minutes to try and save this game. Try and get, pull something out of it. But not the start we want it to the second half, looking for an early goal and instead we concede one. Tagawa then finally does pick out somebody in the maroon shirt, Shankland. Shankland needs, Shankland needs to get into the box here. He has played it to Danders trying to get to that edge of the box and it's not happening. Now it's Fish. Need to try and apply pressure. The press here. Is it working for us at the moment? Doesn't look like it, but that's good. Benjamin. Chance. Oh, and what the hell is that? Tagle's had a stinker. I think we're going to take Tagle off. Cost us the second goal, giving the ball away in a good position. Just all the things that you don't do in a game. Tagle right here is doing them, and it's Boyle. And it's Boyle using his pace, and Kingsley's got to stop him. Kingsley's got to stop. Oh, and Boyle's just completely done his end, but he's ran out of play. Too quick for his own good. Well, Alright, here we go. Double substitution coming up. We've got Mackay coming on, Boyce coming on, Tagawa and Danda going off. They've not really contributed much, so no one's really contributed much, but especially Tagawa. He's been really poor. I'm sure Danda's not happy that he's going off, but screw it. We need to make the changes. We need to try and throw some dices here. And we hope that we can come up with some sixes, but at the moment it's Marcondes, and that's a good save. Big Gordon. Parries it out. One hand at save. For a corner, 61 minutes gone. Joel Newell's coming on for Hibernian, and it's all Hibs right here. And we need to escape this period. We need to not. It's another good save to Craig Gordon. Denies Hibs a 3 0 lead. All Hibs right now. Just pinning his back. Not a lot we can do about it. We get rid of that through Devlin Benenjami with the ball. And can Hearts now play our way out of danger? We can. It's Craig Halkett. Halkett needs to get forward. He's picked out Mackay. Can Mackay. Mackay loses the ball, disaster. Now uh, Kingsley's there. Kingsley gets it. Benenjami. Benny Benenjami to Shankland. Still Shankland. Mackay. He's got Boyce in front of him. Mackay plays it through to Liam Boyce. And Liam Boyce. Oh, and Liam Boyce pulls the trigger. But doesn't get the shot off. Benenjami. Benenjami into it. Limbasaka. Come on. Chance here. Trying to find. Oda is boys again deflected. Oh, Goalkeeper dives and we just cannot get to it. And ah, Hibernian well, still hanging on. But improvements fail us. We're definitely getting better. But we're two 0 down. We need to get a lot better and quickly. Now it's Ben Shankland trying to make it on. We didn't pick him out. It's still Shankland. Still Ben Enjmi. Through to Liam Boyce. Can Boyce do it this time? He can. Liam Boyce with 18 minutes left on the clock. Ben Enjmi to Boyce. Some double B in there. And it is an equal, well not an equaliser, but it's, it's close, you know, we're getting closer. 2-1. <laughs> we've we'll half the deficit, but we need one more. Benenjami, just playing through, boys. Uh, we're not gonna, no, we're not going to take off Benenjami. Why would we do? Or will we? I don't know. We're not going to take off Benenjami. I'm not going to take off the guy that's just got us a goal. Fuck that. No, <laughs> we need to keep him on. It looks like there was a save there, but thankfully not a strong enough hand. And the ball goes into the back of the net. Stephen A. Smith likes what he sees, but he needs to see more of it, pretty much. Alright, here we go. A couple more subs in being made. Oda is coming off. Kingsley is coming off. We're bringing on Rolls to play centre back. And Nevenhoff is coming on. We're going to push Devlin uh, slightly further forward and play Boyce up front. So, right now, we're going like a 3 5 2, I believe. 
something like that anyway, something to try and get us back into the game because next goal is absolutely crucial and if we get it, then the game is there for us to win but if Hibernian and get it, then obviously the game is over, Kai rolls, good tackle, now it is Barry Mackay, Mackay to Liam Boyce, can Liam Boyce time the run Barry Mackay, he's played it into him, it's behind him but Mackay can still make it work I believe, it's Barry Mackay, Mackay has to score, Barry Mackay does score, it's 2-2, we've pulled it back level and we've gave ourselves more importantly, enough time to go on and try and find a third goal. We were not good at all, but ever since Hibernian got that second goal, it sparked something in us and we came alive like an electrician. We just blew up, you know, and I don't know what is happening, but I like it. I want to see more of it. We've got 12 more minutes of it and we need it to happen here. So if we're going to get the win, someone needs to step up and be a heart's hero within the next 12 minutes of this game. Let's see if we can do it. But Boyce is away, and Rolls going to have to try and come over and cut him off. It's Ozzy against Ozzy. Who's going to go down under? We've already been down 2 now. we don't want to go down again. It's Fenty, Yuan, oh, good tackle. Rolls gets it away. Mackay switches it to Forrest. There's Boyce. Boyce is going to hold on to this. Forrest putting him over the top, brilliant. Can Forrest pick this out? He's going to try and look for Shankland. He's found Mackay instead. Mackay cuts inside. Oh, Barry Mackay. Crossbar. So close. Unbelievable. How is he no score that? I don't know. We're seeing a change here being made. Obita's coming on. Dylan Levitt's going off. But, I mean, that was the chance, surely. Barry Mackay cutting in at 100 miles an hour there. And then crashing it after the crossbar. Unbelievable. I thought I was expecting that to be 3-2. Can't believe we haven't scored. I can't believe we haven't taken the lead. We've got five minutes to try and find a goal. I mean, you could argue a draw if a 2-0 down is a decent result, but that's a mega chance to, to go 3-2 up. And speaking of 3-2 up, what can Hibernian do? It's Martin Boyle. Oh, it's a good header. He just put his hands behind his head and he just took the header there. And right, Mackay now, Shankland. That's poor though, it's very poor, Mackay, giving it away. Can't be doing that. Oh, no way. No fucking way. A great save for Craig Gordon as Hibernian tried to win it 89 minutes going. I thought we'd messed up there three minutes, he add it on time. It's Boyce. Boyce. Can Boyce play through Forrest? He can, it's, it's it's Alan Forrest. He's getting caught. Can Alan Forrest pick out Mackay at the back post? Barry Mackay's there, he's, the ball's got away from him. Probably shouldn't have tried to cross it up high for the smallest man on the pitch and it's probably going to end here. It does end, it's ended at Hibs 2, Hearts 2. We had chances, they had chances. Is that a fair result? Probably. Probably, if, if I take the bias away, it's probably a fair result. But I want it to win, I want it more. You can see they are pretty even in possession. I mean, they had a couple more shots than us, but I think that we had the better attempts. I mean, that shot we had five minutes of time cracking the crossbar that was so close to giving us a win there. You can see Liam Boyce got an 8.6. He came on and he was a real difference maker there. Uh, he changed the game. He got his back in it. Benenji as well had a solid game of 7.9. So, yeah, some of those players were really good. Shankland, I've got to be honest, a little bit disappointing. Uh, didn't even get a shot off today. So, yeah, I don't know what happened there. He had eight passes, but in terms of shots, Shankland is the main threat that we have. And he wasn't really a threat at all today. Um, yeah, in terms of the lowest rated player, Tagawa had a 5.1 and I mean that's not really surprising, he, he was poor, I mean he was really poor at times, so Greg Gordon got a 5.9, I actually thought he played no bad, he made some decent saves, some crucial saves, so uh, yeah, I'm not convinced that that's a, a fair rating there, he, he made four saves and you can see they're, they're all important ones, first one albeit maybe didn't make that much of a difference because it led to the goal, but I mean that save he made right at the end there, there's no doubt that saved us. We got a point because of Craig Gordon today, so here's what it is. Obviously, Boyce contributed to it, uh, Benjamin contributed to it, but it was Craig Gordon right at the end. He's essentially the one that got the, you know, the last contribution with that save. So, yeah, I think he deserved higher than a 5.9, but is what it is. The only one to give him a 5.9, we'll take the 5.9. Some other results from around the grounds. Rangers beat Kilmarnock by two goals to 0 and Livingston surprisingly beat Aberdeen by three uh, goals to two. Wasn't time. expecting that, but Levy then pulling off an upset win at home. Thankfully, we did not lose though, so let's talk about it. Didn't look good at half time. It certainly did not. It certainly did not look good at half time. It looked even worse five minutes after half time. Um, we have to be pleased that we got a draw. We were resilient today. I'll go with that because I'm not pleased with the draw. But at the same time, we did battle back to get a draw, so I don't want to be too harsh on the players and demand that we should be winning that. 
either way, it was a game you couldn't take your eyes off. Um, yeah, it was. Yeah, no, it was brilliant. Uh, it was a good game, good game of football, and I'm hoping that there's more games like that, but only with us getting the wins, the victories. So um, yeah, cannot complain with that. I don't know why they keep saying we've lost. We didn't lose. We've had two draws. So that's what it is. Um, we played a lot of game. We'll stick together, I promise you. Yep, we'll stick together. We'll come back, and hopefully, we can uh, yeah, we can get the win Look next time out. Two games in. Zero victories, but no defeats either. So if you're a half, half empty kind of guy, you know you, you'll criticise that. But if you're glass half full, then I'm sure you'll pick positives. Now we do play Kilmarnock up next, and they are currently fourth in the table. But there's some other teams still to play. You've got Dundee still to play, Celtic still to play, St Johnston still to play, and St Mirren still to play. So that will change up the league, I am sure. All right, so we've got a transfer offer here from Copenhagen. They want to sign Nathaniel Atkinson. 1.7 million. He's only worth 1.4. I am very tempted to accept this, but will we accept it? I think we're going to try and get a little bit more. We're going to be greedy, and we're going to see if Copenhagen are willing to spend just a little bit more money. What about player swaps? What do they have? Do they have, do they have any good players that we want? Let's have a wee look here. You've got Kevin Dix. Um, would, would they be willing to give us any of these guys? Are any of these guys any good? I don't know. No, we'll, we'll just go for straight up cash. Let's propose a new offer. We'll go 2 mil. We'll see. I don't think they'll give us 2 mil, but we'll ask. There's no harm in asking. All they can do is say no. I highly doubt the manager's going to get up and start battering Stephen Naismith. And he hasn't battered him. In fact, he's agreed. So Copenhagen there will meet the £2 million price tag. And if he... The manager, Copenhagen manager, can agree a deal with Nathaniel Atkinson, then that means we will be £2 million richer. And I, for one, cannot wait for that to happen. So hopefully, fingers crossed, the deal gets made. Now, unfortunately, we have dropped down to nine, but like I said, two points. Celtic actually drew as well. So who did Celtic draw against? They drew against St. Mirren at home. So Celtic, four star Celtic here, really struggling. No wins to start the season. Rangers, top of the table with four points. Mullerwell with four points and Johnson with four points. Very, very close. You know, we may, we may have dropped points there in terms of the draw, but we're still only two points off the top of the table, and that's what we were after match day one. So, I mean, not the end of the world, but you feel like we do need to get a win soon, and we don't want to go three games for a victory. It's Kilmarnock up next. I'm hoping we can beat them. We've got another offer here for um, Atkinson, and West Brom are trying to give us some sort of swap deal, which we are just not going to accept. 40k and some player that I've got no interest in. Why would we want that? We don't want that. There's a loan or loan offer for Pollock. They keep giving me this loan to buy shit, and I don't want that either. So we'll go ahead and reject the offer for Finlay Pollock. And it's Kilmarnock then up next. Tate has got a loan offer. It's not Andrew Tate. It's not Christian Tate. It's <laughs> Macaulay Tate, and I don't know what his views are on life, but um, we're going to we're going to reject this offer because again, it's it's loan to buy. And I don't necessarily want to sell these guys. I just want to loan them out so they can get some experience. So, um, yeah, let's let's not do that. So, Kamonic, kick and rush. We're playing standard. Well, that's it, guys. We've got Kamonic up next. Let, let's do it here. In terms of our team, I don't really know who we're going to keep in here, who we're going to change. Ben is looking a little bit tired. Do we make a change with Ben Enjimi? Or do we keep Forrest on? I think so. I think we're going to go back to this. This was the start in 11 that played in the first. Although... I mean, you can argue that maybe Boyce should play, and I wouldn't disagree with that. So, you know what, we're actually going to play Boyce as a cam. Yeah, Boyce made a difference in that last game. So there's the team right there. Gordon Kingsley, Halkett Kent, Limbakissa, Benjamin, Devlin, Mackay, Oda, Boyce, and Shankland leading the line. Let's do this. Let's go and defeat Kilmarnock and get our first win of the season. So you're playing in our away shirt, and I like it. I think it's a really nice colour, very unique. I haven't really seen a shirt like this before, so yeah, I, I enjoy the away kit. Definitely one of my favourite away kits in a long time. I don't necessarily like the colour pink, but I don't know, it just looks like, it looks good for a heart shirt in my opinion, but we'll make it look even better here if Kingsley can deliver. Kingsley cuts inside, 
And he's just been muscled off the ball there, but Benjamin takes a shot and it bounces it off, boys. Not great teamwork. The last time they worked well together, boys gave him the assist. This time he just bounced the ball right at him. So uh, boys and Benjamin not on the same page so far in this game. Now we've got Danny Armstrong, who is a threat. There's no doubt about it. Look at the threat. Danny Armstrong is uh, posing here. Oh, that's a good interception from Kent. Good interception. Gordon will get that clear. And not a lot happening then in the opening, what, eight minutes of the game. Boys looking for Mackay over the top. We're going to chase this, and Mackay doesn't get to it. All right, quite a game so far. Come on, with a chance here. Corner looking to whip this in. Danny Armstrong left foot to in. It's headed towards goal, and it is just wide. Craig Gordon was beaten there, head in the hands, and Naismith looking on, worried. I was worried. I thought that was in. As soon as Gordon never got the fingertips on it, I thought that was going to dip over him and go in the back of the net. Thankfully, though, it goes wide, and it goes out for... A Hearts um, goal kick, but big, big chance there for Kilmarnock. Hopefully that's a wake-up call. What can we do now? It's Barry Mackay. Mackay to Boyce. And oh, what the hell is Boyce doing? Terrible pass here. We're just not at the races so far. Not a great opening from us, but we've won that. And Shankland will collect it. No, he won't. He'll lose it. We'll jump in again. And, and I think Frankie Kent could be in trouble here. I think Frankie Kent's in trouble. Well, he's been told no more, but I was expecting a card. He knows he's on his Especially a red, to be fair. I'm not going to lie, I was panicking there. The but to not even get a yellow, I think we've got away with one. And Frankie Kent heads that away. Now it's Shankland, right? Come on. What can Shankland do? He's picked up Mackay, then he falls down. And... Now, I wanted the free kick, but we didn't get it. Advantage has been played. Craig Halkett now. Still Craig Halkett. Oh, and he's just overran that. You can't be doing that. I know it's... Kilmarnock's chance here. It's for sale. Oh, what a challenge from Frankie Kent, though. Had to be perfect, and it was, unlike his last tackle. Borderline criminal, that one a lot better. And Kingsley falls in his ass, man. We just can't string anything together right now, man. I don't know what's happening. Someone's put grease on our studs or something, because we're all over the place. And that's Danny Armstrong with great trickery. But Kent says, no, not today, you wee prick. And he just takes the ball off him. Right, come on, Barry McKay. Run. Show us what you've got. It's Shankland. He's been shite so far this season. Can Shankland finally show us why everybody wants to buy him? Can he show us why he is the best striker in Scotland? At the moment, the only thing he's doing is showing us why Steve Clark kept him sitting on the bench. Let's see what... Ah, there you go. Yeah, Shankland sat on the bench for so long, his arse got numb at the Euros. But so far, we're numb to how bad he's playing. He needs to offer us something. Into the back post. It's cleared away. It's going to fall for Devlin. Devlin out to Barry Mackay again. Mackay. Mackay looking to get away. Mackay looking for the cross and he wins another corner. So Hearts now, you feel, beginning to turn this tide around. Barry Mackay putting more pressure in. Into the box it goes. It's going to fall back post. It's Boyce flicks it to Berenjami. Berenjami to Kingsley. Kingsley spins around. Stephen Kingsley. Out to Oda. Still Oda. Oda holds on to it to Boyce. Devlin, a bit of space opening up for Cammy. Devlin takes a shot, and it is a terrible shot. Space or no space. I wish you'd become an astronaut and just fuck off out of here, because that was shit. We need better shooting than that. It's Armstrong again. <laughs> God, Ben Benjamin went off tackle, and it's Kingsley. I mean, we're having to... I mean, Armstrong is a threat, there's no doubt about it. And we're having to make really good stops here to deny him. Chance now again to Hearts, and it's Armstrong once more. Keeps getting the ball. And it's... Oh, come on, it's looking to open us up here. Danny Armstrong once again, he's picked it for sale. And if Fussell's picked out the back of the net, and we concede. Worst time possible. A little bit similar to that Hibs game. Five minutes to go. Fussell gives Kilmarnock the lead. Kelly fans are celebrating there. Looks like they're wearing Argentina shirts. Kind of feels like we're playing against Argentina, to be honest. Can't really create anything. Can't do nothing. Right. Let's see. We need to try and respond for half time. No chance of that because the referee blows the whistle. So. Yeah, um, again, disappointing. Two shots. We've, I think we've had slightly more possession, but we need to do more. Second half, we need to offer more. We need to create more opportunities and hopefully find something. We're playing pretty attacking. We've got Boyce and Shankland on, but they're not really offering as much right now. That has to change second half. All right, here we go. Devlin bombing forward. This is the chance. It's Mackay. We need to get Shankland in the middle. 
It's still Mackay, left foot it in. Boyce is there. Boyce can't get to it, and it's cleared by Kelly, only as far as Frankie Kent. Kent to Limbicasa. Oda. Back to Limbicasa. Chance now opening up. Limbicasa needs to get a cross in here. He's looking for. Oh, what the hell is that? Barry Mackay falling on his arse at the back post, man. Shocking. Shocking. Like, what is he doing? Benjamin, Oda, Benjamin trying to make a run, he's been stopped there, we picked out Devlin, middle of the field, and Devlin just too slow, getting caught from behind, and now it's McKenzie, Rudy McKenzie, back to Nabda, and wow, well, I mean, we've tried to get a tackle in there, but Oda just gets pulled down, and McKenzie has went off, so Kalarnik here making a substitution, and that's something that we're probably going to have to do soon. To be honest, because you know we need to find a way back into this game. Great challenge there, though. So Mbakasa the wins the ball. Oh my God, Armstrong is Armstrong really threatening here at the moment. It's Halkett and Craig Gordon with a big save. But I mean, Danny Armstrong absolutely had us on strings there, right? Barry McKay to Shankland to Boyce, and that we need to counter. But Shankland making a run. It's still Boyce. Boyce cuts back. Benjamin, oh, Benjamin gets away with that one. He doesn't actually because Kamarnik have the ball back. And Benjamin, good interception. Come on. Now it's out to Oda. Can Oda do something? It's Oda against Nimdaba. Oda then cuts inside. Oda. Oda. Oh, he just overran that. Shanklin tries to win it back, but apparently Shanklin was offside. All right, time's running out. Lewis Mail's coming on for Kelly. We are going to make some subs of our own. Eight and a half minutes remaining. Uh, Rolls, Forrest, Danda and Tiger are coming on. I mean, we'd take a draw right now, wouldn't we? We'd take a chance. One chance we'd probably settle for. And it could be Kamarnik that get the chance instead because they are on the counter. Danny Armstrong again. It's back to Halkett. Jan Danda needs to get to that. It's, and it's falling for Fasel and he's blasted it in. And Kelly have a two-goal lead. With just about six minutes remaining. And that will, I think, put Hearts to bed. I think we're officially about to lose our first game of the season. No replay necessary. Don't need to see that again. Seen that enough. Once is enough to last me a lifetime. Can we muster up anything here? Can we do anything? It's Oda. It's Boyce. It's out to Penrice. Penrice, can he do something? Can he make himself a hero here? Penrice, Shankland. I mean, it's just awful. Shankland takes a touch. It's a pretty heavy one. Can't get the shot off. I mean, I thought we'd done the right thing there, playing it to uh, Shankland. Probably could have shot with Penrice, to be honest. And, and Shankland's just not delivering here for whatever reasons. And now it's Kilmarnock to Valasigi. And this could be free. And it could be free. And I think it will be free. And we have been taught a lesson here at Rugby Park. And that lesson is that Danny Armstrong is a fucking great player. I mean, Jesus Christ. I don't even think it's Armstrong that scored. Oh, it is Armstrong. He's just not the one celebrating it. It's cool worth celebrating like a madman. But it's Danny Armstrong with the goal. And what a goal it is. Just couldn't stop him. Is he the best winger in the league? He, he might be. He's up there. I think he's 75 rated. And you can see Kilmarnock, they're happy with that win. It will be a win, there's, there's no doubt about it. Is this going you to know, be a yep, there you go. And that will be all for this game anyway, Disappointing. And defeat for the visitors. Well, what can we do? It's finished here. Well, Kilmarnock, free hearts nil. In a game I just want to quickly forget. You look at the stats, second half, we didn't show up. We did not show up and, yeah. And Kilmarnock showed off. But, I mean, look at the results. Upper Dean have beat Rangers by four goals to one. What is going on here? What is happening? This is like the craziest. Era. We've got Upper Dean up next, for God's sake. Right? We've got some scouting reports for Morgala and Johnston. So, Morgala is 66, Johnston 66. We're going to try and sign both of these guys. I think they could be good additions to our team. But I'm going to wait until we offload a couple of players first. So, that's where we stand with the new signings. But... Alrighty, we've got a Benenji transfer offer. I'm not getting rid of him. There's an offer here for loan for Tate, and I'm going to accept that because I do want to get him out on loan. But yeah, in terms of the league, we find ourselves in 11th place. God damn it. A, a place we're familiar with, but we don't want to be there. 
Uh, Aberdeen, like I said, a big 4-1 win over Rangers. What happened with uh, the other teams? Celtic defeated Dundee by two goals to one. Hibernian drew. And Kelly, Kelly are top of the league. So, uh, I mean, is it any shame? Is there any shame in losing to top of the league Kilmarnock? I don't think so. They're playing well. And them beating us by three goals to nil certainly proves that. Mullerwell are in second, uh, Celtic in third. I mean, it's so, so close. So, yeah, it's disappointing that we haven't won yet, but it's still tight. And if we can beat Aberdeen, then we can get ourselves going in the right direction. But Aberdeen have just beat Rangers. So, you know, they're going to be tough to beat. And it's going to be difficult. There's no doubt about that. But we're going to we're going to show up. We're going to try our best and hopefully get our first win of the season. I'm actually considering dropping Shankland, as crazy as that is. I might do it. I probably won't have the balls to do it, but right now I want to do it. But, yeah, come that Aberdeen game. I'll probably play Lauren Shankland. Let's find out. But before we get to the Aberdeen game, it's official. Nathaniel Atkinson is leaving the club. He has been moved on. He's packed his bag. Off he will go. And we will get a little sum of money in the region of £2 million, which is great. I say little. It's, it's fantastic for us. <laughs> We're delighted with that. So in terms of transfer, it's an A. Excellent deal. As it is, to be honest, I mean, we, we really couldn't get a better deal than that. But, yeah, but let's get into it, guys. Up next, Aberdeen. Okay, so Aberdeen up next, two and a half stars rated. Midfield is, you know, what you expect. Defence is what you expect. But their attack is where it is at. And you can see that they've got a 76 attack. And I'm pretty sure Miofsky makes up for most of that. I think he's like 76, if not 77 rated. So there's no doubt about it. It's going to be a tough game. Having to deal with Miofsky up front. Behind him, you've got the likes of Duke. Clarkson, Shinny, this is a tough Aberdeen side. I mean, they beat Rangers 4-1. They have to be good, but we have to be better. So that's the Aberdeen team. And spoiler alert, no, we were not brave enough to drop Lauren Shanklin, but we've got a few new players in there. We're starting Penrise, we're starting Rolls, and we're giving Fargas, Kenneth Fargas, his first start of the season. So hopefully he can repay us. Hopefully we can get a goal or two, and that will be enough. I'm fingers crossed here that we can beat Aberdeen. Here we go then. Pressure is on us 100%. We know that we have to win this. We cannot afford to go four games into the season without a victory, especially considering ourselves to be title contenders. And yeah, I mean, if, if we lose this, then we'll, we'll probably be last in the league. And that's the last thing that we need. We need to be up the top. We need to be fighting for the top spot. We want to win titles. Well, you can't do that doing an 11th place. So come on, let's make it happen. It's Penn Rice getting his first start here there for Hearts. What can he do? Picks out Kai Rolls. Rolls going to play it up towards Shankland. And it's Shankland gets something on that. Oh, and it's through the middle to Miofsky. Panic time here. But Miofsky decides to cut back. I just seen Miofsky and he was like in a, a, a... He was in like just this like big free part of space. And I'm like, what the hell? Someone needs to stop him. Thankfully, he didn't go for it though. That's uh, a good challenge from Ben Benjamin. And we can see the throw in. Well, Oda picks it up. However, Fargas is making a run. How oh, over found him. It's kind of Fargas. But the touch so gets away back from back him. Kind of Fargas through the middle there. He had Shankland with him. Didn't want to use Shankland. Wanted to go himself. Uh, maybe he should have used somebody. He'll be delighted to have won the ball, having made that difficult challenge. Well, I don't know what the referee's given there. I mean, is that a is the referee just gave him a penalty? I mean, he's booked Shankland. I'm not entirely sure what for. Uh, well, that's a nasty tackle. I'll be real. That's that's bad. Oh, no, he's, so he's gave a. I mean, he, yeah, he's gave a a, a corner. Graham Shin is going to go over and take it. But uh, can we defend this? We can. We get rid of it. But it's only going to fall as far as Clarkson, and I'm sure we'll be put under more pressure here. Duke's running through. Craig Gordon comes out and he makes a good save. Craig Gordon with a big stop there. You're absolutely right. Pressure on us. So Shinny again this time, taking it short. Edge of the box. It's Duke. Some step overs, and it's through to it's Craig Gordon, and that will do us nicely. Can we get a counter? Can we get a break? No, the ball's actually falling straight from Miofsky, but we get away with it, and we don't know Hubbardine back on us. And we'll just give it away again here. Kai Rolls, massive mistake. He makes another crucial block, and this time Rolls comes away with ping pong here at the back, but it. It ends in Hearts' favour. Now it's Rolls. Rolls out to Oda. Oda looking for Shankland. Shankland spins around. Shankland then looking to play in a Hearts player. He's got Devlin in front of him. Kiami Devlin with the ball. Out to Forrest. Forrest looking for Penrice. He's played Penrice in. 
Penrice get away from his man. Penrice can he whip in a good ball? He's not really delivered that. To Tried to pick out Fargas, but it didn't make its way through to Fargas. And in the end, Aberdeen have taken care of that yeah. winning baller. McGrath, Aberdeen again. Coming forward, it's Jamie McGrath. Chance here, and we've done well. Penrice defends. Gets the ball, clears it for well, an Aberdeen throw in. We've kept that in. Really Counter could be on. Occasion. Quick passing. Just it's Forrest. Forrest now with Shankland. He's not going to use him, though. He's going to go on his own. Shankland needs to speed up this run. Come on, Lawrence. What are you doing? We need to try and pick somebody out. It's Shankland back post. He's flicked it on to Oda. Odus. Odus shot. That's a point in there, man. That was good play. And we can see, holy shit, Rodrigo has went for 106 million. Jesus Christ. Christ, 106 million. I mean, we could scrape the biscuits tin and we'd be lucky to get two pounds. Never mind 106 million. It shows you the levels here that we're dealing with in Scottish football compared to uh, those English pricks down south. But yeah, um, we're, I think we're getting a little bit better in this game, but we're still nil nil here. Trying to find the, the deadlock, the breakthrough. And now again, it's Miofsky getting away from Rolls. Rolls needs to stand up here, needs to stop this delivery coming in, and he does. At the expense of a corner. Probably going to be the last thing before half time. It's going to fall now for Fargas. I don't think there's enough time. And if there was enough time, we gave the ball away, so it didn't really matter. Disappointing now. No, they at the break. It's a, it's a close game, it's a tight game, there's not a lot in it. But uh, that's not good enough for us because we need to win it. So, yeah, we need to change that. Second half coming up, we need to try and find a goal. Clarkston just bombing forward. At the beginning here, trying to get through. Rolls has kind of just allowed him space here, which I do not agree with. Now we're going to close him down, but drags Rolls out of the possession. Passing that he needs to be defending. Miofsky in the middle, licking his lips, waiting for the ball to come to him. And it could be coming to him now. And it's Halk. Oh, Craig Halk, a great tackle there. Stood up strong, won the ball. Now it's Forrest. Forrest to Shanklin. Shanklin, trying pick. Shanklin, what are you doing? No, seriously, what is Shanklin doing? I mean, at this rate, we might even sell him. I don't know. He's absolutely been atrocious. We need him to stand up and fucking score a wonder goal or a shite goal. Any sort of goal would do us. And that's great. Fate. Cut up a Dean and Craig Gordon. Well, I do not believe that. I do not believe that. I know Miofsky is good, but how has he scored that? How has Bojan Miofsky got that into the back of the net? I have no idea. The Aberdeen fans, the Aberdeen players... I'm sure the manager, Jimmy Phelan, also loving life, going mental. But, I mean, look at the amount. Oh, my God. It's comical, man. What the hell? It's like dumb and fucking dumber. But Craig Gordon's playing both. He's playing dumb and dumber. You know, it's like an absolute disaster there. I cannot believe we've conceded that goal. And Bojan Miofsky there, hands apart, celebrating like he's a god. Well, if he's a god, that makes Craig Gordon the fraud then. Because what is Craig Gordon doing? Four goals in four matches for Bojan Miofsky. And we are in trouble, guys. We're staring at the second consecutive defeat in a row. And it would be four games without a win if we don't pull this back. Something has to change here. It has to change quickly. And hopefully it can on this attack. It's out through the forest. Come on. Alan Forrest back post. Look for the cross in. It's, I don't know where Oda's going. I genuinely don't know where he's going now. Running away from the ball. Penrice, Penrice, 67 minutes on the clock, still Penrice, Penrice, oh my god, what is that, we've slid in to win the ball back and it's just falling for Devlin now, but wow man, we, we need to find something, at the moment we've got nothing, so bad there, so bad, now it's McGrath, McGrath stretching the ball here, Rolls is going to try and get back in time, it's Miofsky, Miofsky against Halkett, and Craig Halkett, I mean he's been probably our best player in this match, he stood up against the threat from Miofsky, he's done it pretty well, but uh, not well enough because we are still losing this, like, it's a good tackle for goals, come on, Oda now needs to end. pick up the ball, 73 minutes on the clock, can Oda wait for the run here, oh, we've found Limbisaka, but we need bodies to get forward and support, and at the moment that does seem to be happening, Limbisaka in towards Shankland, and that's awful, that really is awful, we win it back though, Chance here for Kerry Devlin. Devlin through to Penrice. Good looking sequence. Penrice. Oh, chance here, Forrest. Forrest. Tagawa to Limbasaka. Come on, cross here has to be good. 
crossing. Oh, and it's poor, man. It's fucking dug me. It's absolute shit. Ah, I don't. I don't know what's happening. I do not know what's happening. We need to get something here. Eleven minutes to go. Eleven minutes to go, and it looks like that fucking dumb and dumber goal could be the goal that cost us. It's the only goal so far. And you, I don't think we deserve to lose a game to that goal. I really don't. But at the moment, that's how it's looking. Pyro's trying to come across. Miofsky. Halkett does well again. Right. Now, Limbasaka, we need to get forward. We need to get players moving here. We need to get players in the attack. And can it happen now? It's Benenjami. Benenjami still with the ball. Benenjami, it's still going. Benenjami picks out. Forrest, it's Forrest. And Forrest has been caught again on the ball. And we've committed so many bodies forward here that and the referees spotted a tackle there. And that could... That could do it. Cameron Devlin picks up a booking and just lunge in there late, catching Clarkson. All right, two changes then being made. Mackay and Boyce coming on as we go for the final throw of our dice and we try and get something going here. It's Tagawa, Mackay to Benenjami. Benenjami out to Boyce. What can Liam Boyce do? He's got Oda with him. Liam Boyce looks for a cross. Doesn't find it. He's got the throw in though. Throws it to Benenjami. And Benenjami just gives it away. And that, that could do it here. That could be it. Oh, Rose has won it back. It's, it's a chance now. Forrest. It's Alan Forrest to rescue something here for Hearts. He needs to find it. It's Boyce. It's Benenjami. It's Benenjami. Takes a shot. Saved off the goalkeeper. We're going to get a corner. We're going to get one last chance. But Andrew there winning us an opportunity. Alan Forrest delivery needs to be good. It is good. Shanklin's there. Back header towards goal. Saved by the keeper, but no time left. Saves the referee. Shanklin jumped. He wasn't even fucking looking. It was an insane header. It bounced off the back of his dome. It went towards the keeper, but the keeper has somehow saved it out for a corner. But we're not getting a corner. What we are getting is the full-time whistle. And what we are getting is another defeat for the season. And that is two in a row now with zero victories to combat those losses. So, yeah, that's a disaster for us, man. No doubt about it. We've lost at Tynecastle for the first time this season. And it finishes up at 1. Hearts nil. A Bojan Miofsky dumb and dumber goal was the difference in... You know, we created chances at the end. Just not enough, though. I mean, we weren't good enough overall. I don't know if we've done enough to deserve something in that game. We created a couple of good opportunities at the end, but I said for the whole game, generally, I just think we were shite. So I'm not going to be too upset about that. In terms of the league table, I'm kind of a little bit scared to look at it, to be honest, but we need to, so let's go. We're in 11th place. It's not good. It's not good at all. In terms of the other results, Rangers defeated St Mirren by two goals to one. Celtic defeated Mullerwell by three goals to one. So it uh, looks like the teams that you expect to get to the top are beginning to get away now. So Celtic are on eight points. Johnston on eight. Aberdeen, Kilmarnock and Rangers on seven. Then it's Livingston six. St Mirren five. Mullerwell five. Hibernian four. Dundee three. Hearts two. And Ross County one. So um, <laughs> if I look at consolations here, I mean... We've had a tough running, you know, we've, we've took on... I mean, if you look at the teams we've played, we've played Aberdeen, Kilmarnock, Rangers, and then we've had the Edinburgh Derby. So we've had a very tough start to the season. No one can deny that. I'm hoping now that we've got a run of easier games coming up that we can start, you know, getting points on the board. But we need to get points on the board or else we're going to be cut adrift at the bottom. We'll be left stick, uh, stuck next to Ross County. And we don't want that because they stink. They suck. We need to do better than that. So... Up next, we've got some Marin guys. Hopefully, we can uh, find a win there. I don't care if we play well, play bad, play shit, score loads, score not a lot. As long as we get more goals than them, that's all that I want. Three points in the bag, and then we can build on that. But we need to find a win soon. Although, to think of, when you think about it, Hibernian also haven't won a game yet, but they're unbeaten. Hibernian have got four draws in a row, so it's a very strange season. And we're just fortunate that the top teams you know, haven't been great either. I mean, you look at no, no team. We're four games in, and no team has won more than two games. That's that's a pretty insane start, in my opinion. So it's still relatively close. And if we can start getting wins, we can close the gap quickly. But we need to get the wins, and hopefully we can do it, guys. Next time, that's it. I'll catch you in the next one, episode three. Hopefully, it can be a big one. Third time lucky for us. 
in the third episode, and I will catch you in that. But leave a like, leave a comment, subscribe, and until then, peace.